What's up, fellas? It's your boy Doug Cal. Coming from the rig. I'm over here in the 95 Freightliner Classic 132XL. Truck's running good, you know. Sounds like a beast. And uh, this is my first trip out ever since I came out the shop. It's running real good. You know, right now your boy Doug Kell is just riding up and down, like North Carolina to Florida, North Carolina to Florida, sometimes South Carolina back to Florida. I'm not going out there right now. The winter's crazy right now. I mean, the winter weather is just crazy. I mean, look at Texas and Louisiana's hit right now. Parts of Alabama, Tennessee's about to get smashed. It's just real bad, man. I'm not going to those places right now. I'm trying to stay out of that winter weather. It's just not worth it. I do lose a little money because, you know, you make more money when you go out there. But let's be real. When you're out there with that kind of weather, you don't make money anyway because you, you're shut down. It happened to me that I saw one in Chicago a couple weeks ago. I was stuck there for two days because of the blizzards and shit. So... The only reason I went up there was because I went up there to get the classic. But uh, so update, I'm not gonna show you nothing on the classic yet because I'm still working on it. I did install my shift already. Maybe I, maybe I can just take a little look right there. Let's see my shifter right here. I got the chrome sleeve right here. I got the adapter for the shifters, which is the brand that I use. I got the splitter right here in chrome, and I got the selector button cover. I got the, the 18 inch. This is an 18 inch shift extension right here in chrome. And I got this real nice chrome tubing where I got the airlines running through. And then this awesome blue, like the blue splash marble ball, which is going to look real good with the truck. I'm not going to show the dashboard right now because I'm still working on it. So I did put a chair in here. I put this is the heritage from that from um, seats. It's not a legacy. I also, I do have a legacy, but I put this one in here for now. I'm going to be buying a legacy for this truck. For right now, I'm going to rock with this. As far as the dash, for the backsplash, I already got the wrap. I got it's. It's gonna be a blue similar to the marbles. This is kind of like it's. A, it looks like a carbon fiber 3D, but real high gloss. But it's not carbon fiber. It's called like I don't even know the name of it, but it's real freaking nice. So the backsplash is gonna be all in that blue, real nice. And um, the steering wheel, I got the blue steering wheel on there as well. Nice steering wheel. The truck already came with a lot, like, like the, you know the. the the air, the air valve knobs and all the little switches have the little extensions on it, the chrome with the blue diamond on it. I did get the little blue dial for the AC to, to turn on and off the fan on the AC. I got that in chrome with the blue diamond, the, the sliders, all that. This truck came with a lot of chrome on it right now. All the bezels, I am gonna leave all the switch extensions and the air valves, but the, the gauges, all the small gauges and the all those bezels, I ordered them all brand new. All the little, you no, know, all the little chrome trimmings, the little nut covers, all that I ordered it already new. I already have all that, all the AC vents coming in. I actually already got all of them. You know, so I ordered a lot of stuff from the truck already in chrome. I just haven't done the job yet. And I don't want to show it because I'm gonna show you guys a video once it's all done. I'll be doing like I did with the Century. I'll show you guys the before and after. But I'm really excited about doing this backsplash. It's it's a lot harder than the centuries. This has one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven. This has eight pieces that have to come off, a lot of more gauges. But we gonna get it done, cause that's how we do it with dark, that's how dark hell rolls, man. Nothing's too big and I do things myself. Mm -hmm. So that's what it is, man. Just puff, puffing on this punch classic over right here. Like I said, getting loaded up, about to head home. And this weekend, I am gonna attack the dashboard this weekend. When I get home, I am planning on taking every, the, the backsplashes down, you know, the dash, and take it with me. Before I put it back on, I am gonna spray the whole dash black again. It's already black, but I'm gonna hit it up with a black vine, you know, a black, a cyan black color, real nice. These cameras you see behind me right here, they're also gonna get hit up with the black. And I'm gonna be removing this one right here. This lower one right here. This is coming. This is coming out. I'm gonna leave the top part, but I'm gonna be trying to hit all that in black. It's a project. It's Dark Hills new project, but we are gonna get there, man. But once I get this dashboard done, you guys can get to see how it looks. Like I said, I'll do it before and after video, and it's gonna be. Bad. I'm excited to get this inside done. Uh, I do got a brand. I, I did order the mirrors new. I got the one on the passenger side. Rainy's fucked up, and they sent me one instead of the two. I bought two of them. Now they're doing some kind of claim, and I gotta wait about a couple of days before they ship out the one for the driver's side. But uh, we're riding right now. I'm focusing on the inside. I'm planning on putting the you know the blue carpet in here. We're gonna get it done real nice, man. I still gotta install my AC unit and all that in here. But give you guys an update, man. The truck went to a shop. Did a lot of work to it. As you heard in my last video, but it's running real good. It sounds real nice. You know, Detroit 60s are a lot louder engines than the Cummins M14. 
and um, that's what it is. It sounds like a mic, it's a beat, you know, it's running real good. The shifter had to go in ASAP because I can't be with the new short. After you drive on a tall shifter, it's hard to go back to down. I know, I know, Iver 2 Trucker had an extension and he went down to two shifters, but it was still tall. Now he's got him down low. I can't die, I gotta have my shit up high, but your boy Dark Hill has to have that high shifter. But that's what it is, man. I'm getting a hood ornament for the hood, so, you know, little by little, the bumper's already been ordered. Just a lot of stuff is coming on the way. The truck is in another paint shop. I don't know what color to paint. I'm thinking about leaving it white and repainting it white, but then I'm also thinking about painting it like a silver, like a metallic, like a light metallic silver with the blue letters, I don't know. But um, sucks, I don't want to lose the Nike that's on there right now. I got the Maybach logo on the side of the Nike, but this is my truck and I gotta, I gotta do it the way I like to do my trucks. That's what it is, man. But uh, it's a project, we're gonna get it done. I did install a cup holder on the dash already because you gotta have a cup holder. I got the other one that goes in the center. If you guys got a classic, you know, the, the cup holder right here, when they break the first one right here, it's a bitch to change. FLD Life has a good video on that. I said it in my previous video. Check out FLD Life. He has a real good video of how to install that cup holder, how to get rid of the old broken pieces and install a new one. So it's just giving you guys an update. It's coming. You know, the Terminate is coming. That's what I named this classic. This 95 classic, I named it the Terminator because the headlights had like these red lights inside and it just looks like the Terminator. Honestly, this is the Terminator. I'll, I'll, I'll try to put a picture up there one day when I do the before and after once the truck's finished so you guys get to see. But let me know, guys, if you're watching this video and you don't like it, th if you like it, thumbs up. If you don't, thumbs down. It's all love. And let me know in the comments. I mean, I'm, I'm trying to think of a color. I know classic, I think, at least in Dark Kel's opinion, classics look good in light colors, not dark colors. Even though dark, I've seen dark trucks that look real nice. I've seen black ones and dark blue ones and green ones. Like Ivor's truck, Ivor Trucker, to the, you know, Ivor Trucker, you know, Ivor, Ivor Trucker, you know, his, his shit is real nice. And it's like a green, but let your boy Dark Kel know. I'm, I'm thinking about going either white again or going with like a real light metallic silver look. Let me know what y'all think, and that's what it is, man. Your boy Dark Kel right here chilling, getting ready to go home, and the upgrades are coming, man. Stay, stay tuned.